The bias generator is a block that acts as the DC source. Double clicking the block, you can see the general properties of the bias generator. Under the main window, we can change the amplitude. This will modify the DC voltage at the output. Running the project and clicking the visualizer, we can see that a constant DC signal of three units is produced. Going into the simulation window, we can view the sample rate by clicking beside the box. Sample rate shouldn't have any effect on the DC signal because it doesn't vary, but it can still be viewed by clicking evaluate. It can also be changed to be dependent on any other parameters or even a function. Currently, it is defined by the global parameter sample rate. Any global parameter can be changed by double-clicking the workspace and modifying whatever parameter you wish to modify. The setup below will demonstrate how a DC bias generator can be combined with a sinusoidal wave to create a sinusoidal signal with a DC bias. We will then block out the DC component so we can compare the original signal to the signal with the added DC bias. Running the program and then double clicking the visualizer, we can see the results. The very bottom signal is the signal with the DC component blocked and has a DC bias of zero. The signal up top is the signal of the DC bias combined with the sinusoidal wave. And as you can see, it has the DC component added to the sinusoidal wave.